Okay, so now we have set up our target machine. All right, and we have identified the IP address, which is the target IP address that I want, which is 192.168.56.102. Then this will be my machine that is going to attack this. All right. So for this particular session, we are looking for Hydra. All right. So we're looking for Hydra. Okay. Hydra can actually be GUI based or command based. So if you don't like the command base, which a lot of students don't like command base, Okay, then you just go for the GUI base, which is the graphical. All right, so you will look something like this. Okay, you will look something like this. All right, so now you have your Hydra. And what you do, it will be converted into this command down here with all the parameters. All right, so that is where the uh, command line still execute, but through your GUI. So, of course, you can set your target. In this case, of course, I will set this target over here. This is my target. 192.168.56.102. Right. Uh, you can set the port if you want to attack a particular port. All right. Okay. Or as well, your protocol. Uh, okay. So, maybe... Okay. You can set for FTP. And as you change, you can see the changes going down here. See, you can see your changes going down over here. Right. Then, of course, the user that you want to attack and the password. But of course, you can also use a user list and you can also use a password list. Okay, but so that's up to you. So, of course, uh, just to simulate this, All right, I'm going to just attack one particular user, which is the MSF admin. Right. Now, let's assume that the attack is not successful. I do not know the password, so I got the wrong password. All right. Okay, so this is not the correct password. Okay. Uh, tuning, if you know how many threads you want, so I can leave it at 16, no problem. Specific, okay, if you want to work with other things, okay. And you go to the start. All right, you go to the start and you start. Okay, so the data is attacking the FDP, this particular uh, address, port 21. Okay, so target one of one completed, zero valid password found, which means not successful. If you see this, this is not successful. All right, so what will a successful uh, attack looks like so let's assume you are still attacking the msf admin but somehow inside your password list you got the correct password All right so i'm not going to use a password list because it's going to be too lengthy so i'm just going to simulate it over here okay now this is the correct password for this machine okay so, so correct id correct password okay but of course if this password exists inside the password list then that is good Okay, so the target is still the same. The protocol that I'm using is still FTP. All right, I did not change any tuning, but specific as the same. And now I'm going to start, but uh, this is the previous output. Now I'm going to start a new one. All right, and again, it is telling me that it's completed. Right, like the host is completed, but this time, because the attack was successful, it actually showed me, all right, they have found, okay, that they can actually enter using this ID and this password. So this is what a successful attack uh, look like. Okay, this is what a successful attack look like. And if you see zero valid password, then this is telling you that it is not successful. 